I hear you great. Just make sure I'm recording. Oh, no, that I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh, no, why? Let me see. I wonder if it's this thing. Hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, you can hear me now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, so it was your mic. Microphone. I found it. I have to figure it out. I have to keep working on it. <laughs> That's okay. You look great. Oh my God, look, Adidas. I'm wait, wait, Adidas. Oh yes. So it's literally Adidas. my favorite. It's all I wear. I'd be wearing the bra right now, but I took that off. That was <laughs> what happened. <laughs> okay, so first, see, do you know what the concept of the podcast is? So in real life, is people you met, met kind of, yes, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, great, yeah. So like just success or failure stories or any like, um, and then maybe at the end, a bit of an advice on how to meet people in real life, kind of like an anti-online dating podcast, even though that's oh, I love it. what we all okay. can do. Okay, perfect. That's amazing. I love this, Katie. Yes. I'm so happy to see you. I know, this makes me happy. So, but the guy, the guy you were seeing during the pandemic, you met in real life, right? Yes, that was a real life. That was real life. But that's like, oh, oh that's so corny. It was like, I, I'm so, I'm so happy with it. You don't, I feel like people our age, when you have in real life stories, it's either really good or really bad. Yes. Like it could be so, and honestly, pandemic guy was like, Wah. like that worked out too well you know but i do i do have a story for you okay great and i'm excited i wanted to talk about it on stage but i don't know how so maybe you can, <laughs> you can hear it and help but this man i met at a bar and i feel like katie have you met like are they always good like many meet at bars like nine times out of ten is it a good or a bad like encounter um yeah it's usually bad <laughs> yes and you and you hope for the best like you go out with your girlfriend's start of the night like this, this is gonna be the best night ever and that was my thinking one night i was in college with my girlfriends it was that summer the summer after i think junior year and we were at this bar and this guy was talking to me and, and he had an accent and I was like, ooh. What like was his accent? Hot. What was his accent? I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> figure it out. And I was wasted. <laughs> and when you're wasted and someone says, where do you think I'm from? It's like, that is the worst game to play right now. <laughs> Especially like now in 2020, but back in like 2015, I was like, dude, I don't know. Why would you do this? But he told me, he told me he was from Spain at mm -hmm. first. And I was like, now I don't believe it. Now I think he's like joking with me. And then, and then afterwards, my friends were like, Riley, invite him back to the house. He's so hot. And I did. And we're in the cab and he goes, I'm actually from Dubai. <laughs> I was like, you could have led with that. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. I love like, how you just presume. Dubai. Like Spain's cool too, but <laughs> <laughs> Dubai's cool. But fast forward, we, we hooked up. We didn't have sex. Um, we just like had a night of like talking and it was cute. It was fun. But then tell me why at 9 a.m. he FaceTimes his mom and I'm next to him. Oh like gosh, this is too makeup much. off. <sighs> and he's like, this is, this is my girl. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh. I was awful. like, girl. And I was like, you know, I saw the camera. I was like, hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're so polite. You're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is not happening. And then I was like, should I be weirded out? But at the same time, every girl wants to meet the guy's mom. Like, I didn't know how to feel. I was like, does he want to get married? What's <laughs> happening? I would be then, like, weirded out. You would be weird. You would run. Yeah. See, you no, know, I feed the dog. As soon as that happened, I was like, more. What's going to happen next? Yeah. No, no, no. That's great. No, I said I'd be weirded out. I probably wouldn't have run either. I'm like you. I'm like, how far can I dig myself in this right. how red flag <laughs> hole? Katie, that's why we get along. So I feel like, how far can we push this? <laughs> yeah. How far can it's we just as you're it? interested at that stage. Like, okay. 
right at this point, I wasn't even doing comedy, but I was like, this is going to be a great story. Yes. This is, this is why we're going to die for the, for the stories. I'm going to die for the story. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get chopped up to a ton of pieces for the story. But yeah, but I'll make sure when they write in, in the news, we'll like put a little joke in there so people are still laughing. Yeah, <laughs> put, put a little winky face or something. Yeah. <laughs> but so what happened next? But he, he showed up at my job later that day. I worked um, with my best friend. Um, her family owns an ice cream soul food restaurant. And I'm working there. He shows up. And she's like, isn't that the guy from last night? And he shows up with his cousin. And I'm like, oh, my God, dude, we, I left you like four hours ago. Yeah, that's too much. I FaceTimed your mom. And he's like, can I take you on a date tonight? And I'm just like, now, now I'm weirded out. But yeah, at the true. same time, I was like, a movie sounds nice. Yeah. I want to be coddled. Like, I, I don't know how to say no. I was like, sure, so let's do it. <laughs> I get, to, he didn't have a car. He didn't have a car. His cousin had a car. So he's like, can you drive? And I drove to his house, picked him up, and the windshield wiper, like, fell off. Okay. The winds, went like, it fell off. Yeah. And I went, oh, my God, I, I shouldn't be driving. He's like, no, you're fine. You're fine. I was like, okay, sure. And we get to the movies. The movies was fine. It just seemed off. You know, we have a weird feeling the yeah. whole time. I'm like, I shouldn't be doing this. Like, this is not. You have to trust your gut. Right. Right. I was like, you sh- you, right. I should have trusted my gut because we left the movie theaters and it was raining, pouring. I was like, I can't drive now. So we literally are in the car and I'm like, I guess I it out, and he's like, you know, I want to take you back to Dubai with me. And I was like, shut up. I was like, shut this up. is like and 90 like, days fiance the other way. Right, <laughs> right. I was like, this is not, I was like, really? And at the same time, I was kind of like, what? And he goes, yeah, but I'll have to take you to the gym. You have pretty face, but we need to get you in shape. And I'm like, I felt like I was like, he's training me. I was like, what is happening? I he's can't like, believe that. That's insane. Right? The thing is, I couldn't drive. I couldn't go anywhere. It was pouring. The windshield wiper. I'm like, get the fuck out of my car. I couldn't leave. I was like, what? We need to get you in shape. What the fuck? What an asshole. And I still kept thinking, oh, it called me pretty. It's okay. I was like, stop. stop." He called me sad. But then he, um, but then I kind of put that aside. I was like, okay, let's just talk about something else. And then in my car, there's, um, like a hamsa, like the the hand with the with the eye in the middle, yeah. um, and I got it in Israel and long time ago, and I have it on there. And he looks at it and he goes, "What do you know what this is?" And I was like, y- "Yes, like I bought it. I know." What it is. <laughs> I love how he just resumes. You don't know that stuff. So, oh like, my I god. Know. He's really fitting into the kind of misogynistic, oh, need to make you skinny, got to wife you, and you don't know what things are. Exactly. Exactly. I was like, oh, my God. And then I was like, wait, Dubai. I was like, he goes, are you a Jew? And the way he said, are you a Jew? I was like, not are you Jewish? I was like, oh, my God. I'm a Jew now. (laughs) What did you say? What did you say? You said yes, obviously. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, no, how do I, oh, and I was like, you know what, Riley, if you're going to die, you're going to die a proud Jew. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm a Jew. And he goes, without a blink, without a stutter, he goes, it's okay, we can change that too. <laughs> this is like not, this is day, day two, less than 24 hours, and he wants to change your body, your religion. My body, my religion. At the time, he I have text messages still because I, I can't stop laughing. He made me a nickname the morning after we hooked up. He called me Panda. And I look back at it now and I'm like, I don't know if that was a great nickname to give like a girl. You're, you're like Panda? Yeah, I don't get that at all. I, I think it's the whole, it went into the whole gym thing. I think he's like, let me call her Panda. <laughs> yeah, this is funny because this is really like, um, like, when I was dating the Eastern European guy, similar things as well. He'd be like, you should do yoga. Or one time he like, he kept giving, trying to give me vitamins without me seeing the bottle and like, very like trying to shape. He could take you pills. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you pills and you're like, yeah, vitamins is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like STD medication. 
Very <laughs> chlamydia. While you're like yeah. oh, taking vitamin C, it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, very similar. Like, would always presume I didn't know something, or like that I was like an idiot, even though he was an idiot. And then, uh, like, kept being like, you need to, you need to do yoga, mm -hmm. um, like to get more like fit. Trying to, yeah, I'm like, fuck. Trying you. to get you more flexible. Yeah. Well, no, because he only liked a couple of positions in the bedroom. I had to make him. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but again, it's that kind of like, what is the word I'm looking for? Like sometimes with foreign, like a certain, not to like generalize, but there is those men who are like, oh, uh, you know, like just like I'm the man and you are the woman. And, yeah. And uh, I'm misogynistic, I guess. Right. Right. And it, and it's a hard thing because I, I understand like if, if you're coming from, you know, cultural, like he's yeah, coming from yeah. Dubai, like he has accent. He's only been living in America for a couple of months. <laughs> sure okay certain things but we're in a car and you're like I'm gonna take you back you're gonna change religions and you're fat like the too many I'll yeah. maybe one of them. what did you do like, then oh so after um I was like okay let's just make out because I, <laughs> I want to shut him up I was like and he was a good kisser. I was like, let's just make, he honestly, Katie, he was very hot. He was yeah. very handsome. Yeah, they and all I, are. <laughs> always. And I was like, damn it. And then he kept talking. I'm like, you know what? We have to wait till this rain ends. I can either go crazy on this dude who's not going to get like, I did say, I was like, okay, I'm not changing my religion. That's not happening. And when he told me about the gym thing, I started laughing. Cause like yeah. what else? Like, I guess most people could be like, fuck you but like I think it's hysterical like what so and also I'm, as well you're not you're like you've got a great body so oh thank you I, and all and all bodies are great <laughs> all, right and I, I just thought it was so like that's so funny and yeah. I was like let's just make out the rain ends right I was like let's just make out <laughs> and then finally um I think the rain wasn't stopped it was like an hour in and I'm like I gotta get home I have to work in the morning I was like, I'm in my Uber home and you can Uber your way home or taxi and like, we'll talk later. And he's like, my cousin will pick us up. I was like, do I, do I just kind of Uber? kind scary. Home? I, I, I it, know. It, did you, you didn't get in the car with the cousin, did you? I did. I did. I got in the car with the cousin and he's like, oh, are you the one? I was like, oh my God the whole family knows about me. I have my own room in the, in Dubai. Like I have a car, like what? So he's like, you're the one. I sat in the back. I, I like texted my roommates. I was like coming home. They were freaking out. Cause they were like, I don't know about this guy, Riley. He calls you Panda. And that was the only thing they knew. <laughs> and then I came home and then I, I told him, I was like, Hey, I'm going, I was in Connecticut. I was like, I'm going back to New Jersey next week. Um, I'd rather cut this off now. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. And he sent me flowers. He texted me nonstop. He was like, I miss you, Panda. And then eventually it died down. Thank but God. that I have to say is my most like in real life. What the, what the fuck? Like what? Yeah. Why? And like, I, I have to say Dubai is such a beautiful country. I was like, in my head, I'm like, what? Oh, I can go visit and in the beginning I was like, this is so fun and then it turned into like a really weird <laughs> situation it's, it's just so like um yeah bizarre that he just wouldn't be a little cooler but yeah look again culture because a lot of times maybe mm -hmm. in some of those cultures they get married before they have sex so he no he, he did want to have sex I just was like I'm all when it's a stranger thing yeah. and I was like I don't know maybe because he lived there I was like we'll hook up again I'll let you know what I mean I want to yeah, get yeah. to know him. that's how I roll so I was like I'll just you know and he, he was like that's fine he was so good about it he probably loved you more for it he's like yeah this is yeah, my he wife. Was like, what a great <laughs> wife <laughs> that's that's so funny. he's not gonna have to feed me feed me chlamydia pills or no. vitamins yeah look you know whatever whatever helps <laughs> it's crazy is that's the last time i picked up a guy from the bar too that is yeah. the last time mm -mm. it's hard because i find it hard to pick up guys at bars because usually i'm like too busy having fun with my friends so i'm like uh i don't want to waste my time but, yeah yeah I, i'm trying to think now 
the last time I met a guy at bar, Jesus, it was probably like even before the pandemic, it was probably years ago. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember the last time being picked up at a bar. It's weird because I feel like you're either a person who goes to bars and like is searching for a man or you're yeah. going with your friends just to have fun. And the oh, best you know, time yeah. when you find a man regardless, by accident, you're like, yeah. oh, that's no, because obviously, like, I've had guys pick me up at my bar working there, but I, years ago when I first came over, and I cannot remember if I've said this story on the podcast, and it's really going to, I don't think I did, so, but um, when you said he was Spanish and that you met him at a bar, that reminded me of a guy that I met at a bar when I first came over, and he told me he was, like, he was Latin, he was, like, Spanish, but he, mm. like, he spoke Spanish, and he was very like he was like sexy dancing and like I was like ooh <laughs> this is so great and I remember like getting the cab with him back to mine and then him not paying for the taxi and I was just over and I was like mm, that's a bit weird and then going into the house and having sex and him going down on me and he was like oh I like the taste of your discharge <laughs> oh Oh, I, was like, I, I was like, I don't have discharge. What are you talking about? Stop. <laughs> it's not so Wait, the fact that, like, honestly, I'm very impressed with the man. If he knew the difference between <laughs> discharge and calm, like, I, or like, just being wet. But it's not, it's just being wet. I don't have it's discharge. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the fuck? It's, it's so weird. <laughs> it's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> I was like, all right. And then later on, he was in bed with me. And oh, he started telling me he was like a metrosexual. And I was like, oh, what's that? And he goes, oh, you know, a guy who like trims his nails and cuts his toenails and stuff. And I was like, oh, I think that's just general people. Like, cleanliness. Yes. Yeah, the same thing. And then he told me about how he'd assaulted someone, which was, I know, and you can't like, I know it's like really bad. And now I was just like, it oh my was, god because he was started telling me a story where he was like oh yeah i had sex with my friend when she was really drunk she was really upset about it but like whatever like i didn't like assault her that's her problem for, and i was just being like oh my god i can't believe this man is fucking saying oh my this god shit. Yeah, and i was just like trying to like think of like excuses ahead to get him out of my yeah yeah house. but yeah it was really horrible what a, that was like i think that's the worst one night stand i've ever had oh my god it, and in those moments you're kind of like what what do you do you can't it's so weird because i feel like i hear some women and they're like i told them to fuck them and let and i was like oh, damn it's my home i just went i know like do and I, I don't antagonize them i'm all and i also like right. he obviously like this story had just happened to him and he was just trying to like prove his innocence randomly and just talking right. to a stranger and i'm just like oh my god i didn't want to be like you okay, instantly you need to go became to a therapist you became a therapist yeah. well oh, I, I yeah and i wanted like i didn't want to get in trouble I don't want to get murdered so right I can't even remember how I got rid of him but yeah I think I remember he texted because he had my number and then I just like ignored it but yeah it was very very weird the whole thing so oh my god that's I don't think I've ever been with anyone that's like that I've just been in those awkward situations where that's like they say something and you're like what do you the oh the last guy I was with before quarantine he who I knew and I met in college, knew in real life, he said to me, he was like, we were hooking up for the first time. And he said to me, oh, I, I'm not a boob guy. <laughs> now, Katie, you see, know me. Like, I have G's and I don't have a butt, okay? So it's like, you don't, that's like going to like a Brazilian steakhouse and be like, I'm a vegetarian. I know, that's so, that's so funny because the guy I'm seeing told me, I was like, what do you fantasize about? But I was trying to get out like weird fantasies, not necessarily like, he was like, oh, I really like, I really get off to boobs and I have these tiny little boobs. <laughs> I should send them your way. I was like, oh, okay. I'll send you a pic if you want. <laughs> no, I do not want. No, no, it's just like, these are mine. <laughs> I know, I've, I've told my girlfriends, I'm like, can I get your like ass pics to send to and be like, yeah, it's mine. Cause like, no, he, he, yeah, he knows. He, he knows, but like, that see, I don't know. But what when happened I with the guy then? What, like, what, what happened with the guy then? Oh my god, we we were friends, and he wanted to date. Uh, we knew each other since college. He wanted to date, see what would happen, 
and our first date it was nice then he he was like am i going back to your apartment i'm like okay and he came back to my apartment and then it just was like a strange it was awkward because we were friends for like 10 years almost but like i i honestly was like this is this will get better and then he never really called me back and i was like but he hasn't texted me back either. I'm like, that is a shitty friend. I'm like, we've been friends for 10 years. Yeah. And I was like, he told me, he told me, wait, he said, I don't like, I, I don't know, I, I'm not a boob guy. And then when he saw my boobs, he's like, what do I do with them? Okay, here, he, I'm sorry. I think this guy might be a, not a woman guy. Because <laughs> how can you be like, what do I do with them? Or I don't like boobs. That's so. Yes. He goes, what do I do with them? And I was like, I, I never had a man, I never had any, but even like gr- friends, girls will be like boobs. Like no one ever is like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah, uh, you touched them, yeah. I guess, if you want to. He's like, okay. I felt so awkward. I was like, I don't, and then he saw that I didn't have quite a butt, which he would have known. He'd known me for 10 years. Yeah. No, I don't have a butt. And he's like, oh, it's okay. <gasps> He goes, it's okay. That's what the gym is for. This is the second what time. What is with these guys? And I'm, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can be guaranteed that if we put both Tiffany. these guys' pictures together, like, they, they, there's things that we could find fault on them. This is insane. Right. Never. I was like, that's what the gym is for. I remember oh. being like, this sounds familiar. And now, Katie, that I said the first story and this story, it's because they're the same. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Yep. So that happened. And I was like, what? And he had a, what? He had a so big dick. He had a very big dick. And I like smaller dicks. And I should have yeah. been like, your dick is too big. But yeah. I did it. That's I what surgery is for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's so nice that you like smaller dicks. <laughs> that's great for all the small dick guys to hear. I love small dicks. They're my favorite. Literally, if it was small dick, I'm like, yay! But I don't want to tell them that because they still hear that they have a small dick and they still, you know what I mean? So I just tell them I love it. Like, I I will be, I'll tell them, I'll I'll say all the time, I love your small dick. (laughs) Your small dick. Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, (laughs) And wait, the guy that you were friends with for 10 years, and so you obviously had sex, and then... He, no, he never, we didn't. Oh, we didn't, didn't have sex either. I, he said to me he wanted to have sex, and I was like, okay. And then he's like, I don't want to use a condom. Yeah. And I was like, you're my friend, and, you know, I do trust you, but, like, I would like to get, like, I had se- I've had sex in the past month, and I would like to get checked because you're my friend, and, like, what if I had some? I, did, I got checked. I didn't have anything clean. But, the, but I was being a good friend, I yeah. thought. I, that time I said, you know, I just want to get checked. Um, we definitely can have sex next time. Um, this is our first night together. I, yeah. I just would like to, and for some reason, that kind of threw him off. I was thrown off, Katie, by the whole night. I was like so excited. This man wanted to date me, and I was done. I was like, I'm gonna get married. I found yeah. my husband. Of course, I'm done. we've been like best fr- or like friends, of course. Right. But even if you decided that you didn't want to have sex without a condom at all, he should be okay with it. This is so, like, even if it wasn't for that reason, if it was just for you were like, oh, I'm not on the pill. Should, like even so if he wasn't my friend and I was with like a like a just like a guy from the bar and like the one from Dubai he was so ch- he was like yeah that's cool yeah. all good okay want- next time you know and then so you didn't hang out again you're not friends oh he hasn't called me or texted is this me. recently this is recent this was right before COVID happened right oh. before COVID happened. I might have mentioned to you in like beginning of COVID I was like this is crazy. And then a couple weeks later is when I met like COVID Bay and I was like, Oh, this is great. And he kind of like took my mind off the yeah. fact that this guy, cause I kind of, kind of put me in a weird, when you're friends with someone for that long and then they kind of diss you, you're like, that's horrible. And then they don't tell you why, you know, Did you I mean? ask him why? Yeah. I said twice. I texted him. I remember I had a show at Westside Comedy Club and the whole day I'm like, today's the day, today's the day. And I couldn't, I was like, I have to send it before my set. Cause it was like eating at me. So I yeah. sent it. I was like, 
Um, oh my God, so much anxiety. Resistant, what happened? Like, you're my friend. You can be honest with me. And he literally was like, I've been busy. He didn't text me back till the two days after. Uh, our said, I've been busy. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, you know what? I'm busy too. Like, I have a life. I was like, I see you're with your phone. I know you have your downtime. So I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. And then I text him one more time before um, quarantine kind of started. And I was like, hey, I hope you and your family are safe. I know his fan. I know his mom. I was like, I hope you guys are safe. Um, happy Purim because it was um, the holiday, uh, Jewish holiday Purim. I was like, happy Purim. Girl, no answer. Nothing. It's, I, I was, I've never been in this situation. I've seen it on like movies where like two friends try it out. No, but this is all him. This is his issue. This is like, yeah. you don't even need a friend like that because he can't give you the respect just to be, it's not like you're messaging and being like, hey, I want to bring you to Dubai and marry you. You're literally just being like, <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah. But if our, one of our friends told me that he was looking for like, he's looking for a wife. And I was like, oh my God, was our date a test? And I failed a wife test? No, that, well, that doesn't matter. You can't just fail a wife test. Well, like I, in my head, what are, was the criteria? I'm dying to know. Like I'm on, now I'm interested in knowing what his criteria was. Like was fucking on the first day. Like that I ordered the wrong drink. And then I was like, you know what? I shouldn't even matter. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm so interested. Yeah. <laughs> in what? But you don't even know as well what the friend, no one knows what's inside that mm -hmm. guy's head. He, like, exactly. he, he could say something to his friends, but like, will just unless he like actually is man enough to just text you back and explain not be like I've been busy that's bullshit right I've been busy like and the way he said it too was like hi like hi Riley period I've been so with I'm like last month you were sending me office memes what yeah. like hi Riley period like how are you I'm sorry I've been so busy I'm like this is too formal yeah it was so strange I was like I should be mad at you for looking at my boobs and being like oh what do I oh here yeah he might be having it he might be having like a whole whether he's even into women because all women have boobs that's why I don't understand even if they're small they're still yeah, boobs and I know he's had girlfriends, so it was like, I know you know what to do. Like, oh, yeah, that's weird. Maybe that's he wants weird. to say, what do you like? But I, yeah. I don't think it was. If, if, fair enough if he was like, oh, what would you like me to do? Because everybody likes different things. Like, I love right. when people, like, lick my boobs. But some guys don't know that, so I just tell them. But, like, that's not what he asked. But maybe he's just going through stuff. You just wouldn't know. He could be going through anything. He could right. be like, oh, my gosh, she's my friend. If I date her, we will get married. Or do you know either maybe he's not ready for it? Maybe it was too right. good to date. It could be it could be positive stuff as well. And he just doesn't have the emotional intelligence to be able to communicate that right now. True, true. And like my mom's always like, I don't know if he I don't know if he date a com he's like a comedian. He's like yeah, he knows your comedy. He knows what I was like, you know what, all these factors, true, but that was uh, that was so weird. I'm loving right now Tinder and all this shit yeah. because like I'm so over the media. I don't know. I was like, I'm not having good luck with any. Well, how about with Corona Bay? So you met him. Corona Bay is good. It's good. He's in New York. So like, the thing is, okay, Katie, when I get back to New York, there's a couple guys I've been texting here and there. And it's like, <laughs> who was the healthiest? I don't know. How How have you? Been? I'm scared. I'm a little nervous to go back. You mean back. healthiest as in with COVID or for yeah, a potential COVID. relationship? Oh, oh, oh you're <laughs> I'm sure you're fine. Potential relationship, they all suck. They <laughs> all suck miserably. <laughs> but I'm like, which one is like, has a great immune system? Uh, I That's think, going head. <laughs> I really, I don't, and in good what? What did you say? Like, which one has a good immune system? I just want one that's, I I'm, 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 I have no idea. I don't know what to tell you. Suburbs have changed me. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't think, unless you ask them all for COVID tests. <laughs> <laughs> did it yours? Yeah, no. I did, yeah. He yeah. did, yeah, yeah. But I didn't get it. I got it. My, I've gotten it since, but I didn't get it before we met. Oh, I said no. Because I didn't want to go to the doctor. Oh, funny. I feel like that was years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was so months long. ago. But, it's literally months ago. But yeah, so but you got to have like a real life pandemic 
but that you met in real life. Mm -hmm. No one has that story of meeting someone in real life and having a romance during the pandemic. Right. I mean, what would you guys do? Like go for walks and stuff? Oh yeah, we, we went for the first like four to eight weeks. We went on just walks. We walked, we come over and we just walk. I'd wear my mask because we both lived with our parents and like yeah. we didn't want to, we were so, we'd feel so guilty if we like yeah. say we didn't know somebody was sick or asystematic so we literally like but we like it was like maybe the fourth one and we touched heel we touched toes like on our like we touched like <laughs> on your feet on our, yeah <laughs> so gross I wouldn't even do that years into a relationship <laughs> so horny I was <laughs> I hate my we're the horniest people we're just like touching to, it was uh, very that's lovely it, it was cute honestly like I I don't, th I don't think I've ever been that cute with a, with like a person and, it, and you know, the thing is, and I know you probably get this too about pandemic, like dating and like hooking up, whatever you're both in the same situation. It's not like in normal life where who knows what's going on in your life, who knows what's going on in his life. You're both in like, it's like, you're both in the same, like trauma like you what's mm -hmm. going on in the world so in the beginning of it you have this like mutual thing that's yeah. very powerful so yeah. that was kind of it's it was very interesting I had to say it was one it was the best distraction of all of COVID to have someone oh. that you can be like <laughs> you send a new to and you're like hey like and they're right down you know what I mean like they're yeah. a couple of and they can't bang you um, right <laughs> it's amazing I love it it's so great it was cute. It was my, it's funny. My grandpa, um, great grandpa came from Russia and he, um, he wasn't allowed in America, um, because he had an infection and like his whole family was killed off. So he lived in Cuba and he, he had family friends in Philadelphia and he would send money. No, no. They would send money to him in Cuba so he could come over to America eventually. Yeah. But then he fell in love with my great grandma in Philly. They would write letters oh, to each other. And I'm like, goodness. oh my God. It's like, like they both were experiencing that. Like, of course, they weren't sending nudes and like letters. <laughs> probably to Was your grandfather family. drawing his dick? He's like, look at this. Here's the hair. <laughs> I would love if they used to draw a nude. Take a banana and just like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, just trace it. That's so funny. Oh, oh my God. Oh that's, my God. But that's, and so they obviously ended up together. I love that. I love that kind of... I do think a lot of success stories seem to be this sort of slow... Well, I am watching 90 Days Fiance right now, so that's the opposite of what I'm about to say. But It's so good. It's so good. I'm watching the one the other way around. But yes. It's so yes. good. It's too good. When you were That's talking about Dubai, Aladdin, oh, Dubai. Or Aladdin, when you were talking about Dubai, I was thinking about Aladdin and I was like, oh my God, you would have been over there. Like, you know, to but, but um, actually I don't really know anything about Dubai. So I shouldn't say that because I'm thinking of when he's in guitar. But anyway, but um, you know, uh, so your, did your, gran your grandfather ended up then in Philadelphia? Yep, he ended up in Philly. He um, married. Her name is Esther. Uh, they live in Philly. They lived in Philly. Uh, he had a butcher shop. Um, oh, and they lived in Philly this. till my um, my dad was born. And oh well, and then Virginia, and then they came to um, to Cherry Hill. But it's it's such a cute like. It's not. It's so sad because like it's in the time of like war and like my you know my family is you know killed off and it's like but then they found this like love yeah. and it's like over I think it was over I'm gonna mess this up I think it was over 10 years 10 or 15 years he was in Cuba for so the whole was, time he was sending her letters for 10 years I think they, I'm gonna like I want to look it up because I can't remember Jesus. but I think it was about average I think it was about 10 years they were sending letters they were the family was sending him money um and he had a hotel community in cuba and then it was it's such a like crazy story because if, if, if he didn't have them who knows you know what i mean if he didn't have her i just it's crazy what can happen you know it is. but and it's so very lovely and so you have 
tree, tree guys back in New York, you were saying that you, you'll be able to see? Yeah, maybe? there's, there's like a, I left a few, you know, when you, like you've been talking here and yeah. there's some people. And, <laughs> and then the world opens back up and it's like, goodbye, love, goodbye, pandemic romance. <laughs> so sad that for like months I was like I'm in love this is great and now finally it's like I'm heading back to New York on Friday so I'm texting these men like well that's also as well because you guys I guess because you don't know what you are sometimes it's hard to like exactly. it's more I always think as well texting other people for like guys and girls you know like if you're seeing someone and they haven't put a label on it sometimes you just text other people so you're like well I have other options if they hurt you Oh my God, you, Katie, you are so on point. You are so on point. So. You have other options. It's, it's lovely. And like the guy, he's awesome. We're friends anyway. So like whatever happens, cool. But if not, like I'm so blessed for that little ex pandemic yeah. like romance. It's so weird. It I, weird. I love your attitude. I love how you're like never like mad. You're like, okay, but like, you know, that's fine. Like that is a better way to be. That's great to be like, if it doesn't work out, at least you guys shared lovely moments together you shared a moment so right because at first I was like I think it was the day he went back to New York and I started working in my dad's dental office yeah helping out it was like all in one day it was that Monday and I was like I went to work at like 7 a.m and then I I don't want to be there <laughs> and then I left work and I came home it's dark and the guy been texting, whatever, hanging out with, he's gone. And I was like, and I was like, I don't have a comedy show. I was like, oh my God. And I, that one night I was like, I was pissed. I was like, damn, I wish I had something like, but you know what I mean? But then after that night, I'm like, okay, right. Couple weeks, do this, get back to New York, get it going again. But yeah. that one day I was so angry. I was like, I don't want to be working at a dental office. There's no comedy. There's no man in my life. I'm <laughs> I know. It's so depressing. It's, I, I get it completely because even when, when I went back to work, I'm only back like a, like two days and they're, both those days are like half the money I was making before. So it's not good. But, but yeah. when you go back to work and you don't have a comedy show, like at night, you're not like doing your dream at night. It's so depressing. Um, I don't know. I don't it's not know like we're how. wives with kids, so we have distractions. Right. It's exactly. It's like when I would waitress for like eight hours, nine hours a day. I didn't, I didn't mind because I knew right after I'd be going right to a yeah. comedy show or like for four or five, like the rest of the night I'd be around comedy or I'd be doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. But when you don't have that, you're like, this is so. And like I'd be, I was just like. I was, I want to text someone. Like I was like, this is boring. I was, so I'm looking out the window. I see trees. I'm like, this is boring. How yeah. do people do it? It's very impressive. But it's very I, impressive. Yeah. I think they do it because the they watch 90 days fiance and like reality. I didn't realize the beauty of reality shows. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, like Katie, that's what I'm doing after we talk. I'm watching, um, the other, the Pillow Talk. You watch Pillow Talk? No, don't even tell me about it. I don't want any more distractions in my life. You have to watch Pillow Talk. <laughs> my family and I, they're waiting for me to watch. Their oh. mom and dad are downstairs. They're gonna, we're going to watch Pillow Talk. I love and it's that. Like, that's, what, that's what my day has come. To. I couldn't wait for this podcast. I could, could, could. <laughs> well, before you go, because we only have like a few minutes left, any advice for meeting people in real life? Like, what's your go-to move for when the pandemic's over? People in real life, I honestly think show show your authentic self, whether like say you're out in the bar and you're drunk, be the drunkest yeah. and loudest. If you meet somebody and you're trying to like simmer yourself, don't, yeah. don't be yourself. If you're out, you're in a library <laughs> working <laughs> and the guy comes over to you, be yourself. I don't know why I picked the library. That was I know, I was like, who the fuck is in a library? <laughs> I get overly excited. <laughs> if you've gone back in time to the 80s <laughs> and you need to go to get your book in the library and the guy comes over, don't be all like, ooh, I'm a little prissy woman. Be all like really loud and drunk in the library. That's what I got from that. <laughs> I love it though. I get what you're saying. Everybody, you know I don't know why I picked a library for this analogy, but honestly, be yourself because yeah. if they don't want, if they don't want you to, because like, hey, I learned it. Guys wanted they could or girls change you. They can say, I don't want your boobs. Yeah. Fine. I know ten other men that want them. Yes. 
Yeah. I, I mean, I know 10 others by another album. If it helps, I have small boobs on a small arse. So at least you got big boobs. <laughs> I'm small on boat. I would have been that guy's. You got mindset. gorgeous legs, girl. Your legs. I, I see leg. your pictures you put. Look at those legs. <laughs> mine are so hairy. I would show you mine. I haven't shaved. There's no reason. <laughs> but yeah, that's my. That's great. Okay. Nice. Plug, yourself. Yourself, plug yourself so the listeners can follow you on uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, you can follow me Instagram, Twitter, all that fun stuff at Riley Lassen. Dude, you know, she posts great jokes and stuff. Do you, you, oh, you don't have a podcast, do you? You don't have. I don't. I don't have a podcast, but I got this microphone now. Yeah, so one day. So I want to. I got to do something with it. It's too big for me for the other stuff. So. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that's too big for a lot of people. Is that you. big for a lot of people? I yeah. I don't want to stick that thing inside me. There's no dick that thick. For this. Was oh no, that's awful. That skinny dick. Not that skinny dick is awful. Oh my god. But. This is my- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good sign. Okay, so for the listeners, Lin- er, I was about to say Lindsay because she just texted me. Riley uh, likes lipstick uh, dick. Lipstick dick. <laughs> and, and, and you say pencil dick as well, you seem to like. I don't know. This might be too long. I don't know. You know what? All dicks are, are great. Yeah, that's great. That's so great. That's so inspiring for the guys. All dicks are great. No shame. All tits are great. All arses are great. All legs are great. Um, Hair legs. Yeah. Legs, all legs. Just be, <laughs> just be yourself. Gotta, Don't go to the gym. Library. Hang out. Go to a library. Okay. So to wrap it up, um, if he says he's from Spain, ask again. Um, if they are your best friend for ten years, maybe. They might, not. Mm. Maybe, they might be assholes. You might get married though. It might be great. Yeah, um, if they say I'm not a boob guy, then that's probably a bad sign. Run, run. If they say, run. what do I do with these? Smack them in the face with them. So what do you do? It's so weird. He's missing out on some, my guy was like, he likes t- t- like titty fucking or whatever. And I was like. <laughs> oh, I love titty fucking. You see, he would need, I need your boobs. There's no titty fucking with my tiny boobs. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> I see the hope in your eyes. Yeah, I saw the hope and you said, I just want a titty fuck. So it's probably good you can't. I, it's pro- I learned that at a young age what titty fucking was because guys would say it to me and I had to look that up. And ever since then, I was like, this is my... Your curse. My curse is the titty <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll let you go. I'm going to... I'm gonna okay. First, I'm going to pause or stop this and talk to you. Okay. Okay, and stop recording here.